Well, hello there. This is Kung Fu Cowboy here, and I'm here to bring you another segment of my segments. And uh, we're actually, I wanted to make this to uh, promote this item, which is part of our fundraising campaign, our, our first crowdfunding thing at uh, Indiegogo. But this is a uh, book written by me, uh, Richard Del Conner, also known as Buddha Jen, to my students, my Kung Fu students. My Chinese name is Jen Shen Long, which means Spirit Wolf of Truth. Last name always goes first in Chinese. <clears throat> so it's Spirit Wolf of Truth, or um, Wolf of True Spirit. It's probably a lot of ways to look at it, but the point being is that's my Chinese name, and it was given to me for a whole bunch of reasons, which I'm not going to bother to go into right now, but uh, um, by the Chinese Society in Utah. The, um, this book, Masonic Kung Fu, is going to give you a whole bunch of information about masonry and my own Masonic journey, which started in 2007 and ended kind of this year or last year. I mean, it's kind of still going on. If I was to pull this curtain right here, you'd see the North Hollywood Masonic Lodge right across the street. This is the end of my Masonic journey. I've been uh, parked here and sleeping outside their um, uh, lodge for uh, two years now. And, uh, and, and, the, and the next version, the addition of this story, we'll talk about the many stories and things that have happened in this lodge, too, over the last couple of years in dealing with the people and, and all the ways that they've helped me and supported me and, and uh, improved my life. The um, other part of this book is Kung Fu. And the Kung Fu aspect of this story is two young Chinese teenagers in 1937 who are being initiated into a Buddhist Shaolin school. So it actually includes the Buddhist head shaving initiation ceremony of a traditional Chinese Kung Fu school, which of course no American knows anything about. I didn't know about it, and, and I still haven't met anybody. I even find Chinese people who don't know about it. But anyway, um, in fact, most Chinese people don't even know about it. So anyway, this book has all kinds of secrets in it. Uh, pretty close. Um, the Masonic uh, aspects in this book, I had to, um, I took, I had to send copies up to the uh, Grand Secretary, the Grand Lecturer, Assistant Grand Lecturer, and all these the grand poobahs of all the uh, um, masonry here in California. And uh, the Grand Lodge is, is the capital of California. And uh, all Freemason masonry lodges in California uh, basically uh, serve or bow down to or have to get their permission from the Grand Lodge to exist. Okay, so back to my book here. This is one of the perks we're going to give you. This is a really cool book made out of paper with black ink on it. And uh, it's a great story. It really is. Even my son liked it. It's because it involves a couple of kids, teenagers, and they become heroes. They rescue a, um, a British Freemason uh, sailor, Marine, or excuse me, naval officer, in uh, 1937 when the Japanese were invading China on the coast. And this is before World War II. This is actually the beginning of World War II. This book is the beginning of World War II in many ways. And uh, 1937 is when it really started. And... Uh, it didn't end for them until even years after uh, we were out of World War II was over. This uh, Actually, this battle continued uh, a little longer in China, but we didn't care. And, uh, anyway, so uh, I got all kinds of interesting information about that, too, because I was researching it, because it turns out that one of my Kung Fu forms that I've been teaching since 1984, I learned it in 1981, probably, or 82, Maybe 81. Anyway, the, um, what is called Ling Po or Leon Bu. And uh, my master, Dr. Cam Ewan, even wrote a book on it. It's a really good book. But uh, I, I've actually made videos, and uh, here's a book now, and this is it. This is actually the Leon Bu form, which turns out to have been an illicit, kind of illegal kind of, uh, kung fu form created so that Chinese people could learn British Freemasonry. And because at the time when we were basically controlling China in the um, since the all in the early 1900s, even even in the 1937, all the other countries were in there just raping and pillaging the country, and, and I guess still probably even doing the opium thing. Who knows? I, I'm not an expert on that, but I did do a bunch of research um, in terms of this kung fu form and found out who made it, and it was uh, it, it's an interesting story, which will probably get a lot of people kind of in trouble, or you know, people go, really, that kung fu master was a Freemason? A British Free Anyway, they were trying to be. They wanted to be. And uh, so this is one of the ways that they were able to. Some British Freemason must have felt sorry for them and taught them. Or maybe when somebody got inducted, was able to join a lodge, you know. Um, say, oh, I just squint a lot, but I'm from New Zealand. Something, I don't know. And um, so anyway, here's a book. 
Masonic Kung Fu, really cool story, raping, pillaging, murder, um, truth, kind of based on true stories of the Japanese attacking and uh, enslaving people in the um, Chinese coast in 1937, and a couple of kids who become heroes rescued the British Freebase. So, cool book, cool book. So it's good reward. Um, even if you don't buy it as a reward, go to Amazon and, and, and buy it for yourself anyway. <laughs> So anyway, yes, uh, here I am, the author of Masonic Kung Fu. Uh, this is going to be a three-book series, but I think this is going to be the only one now. And this is called Entered Apprentice, which is the first level of Freemasonry. That's the subtitle of this book. It was book one. Well, book, it was book. Anyway, enjoy the book. I, I, well, I know you will. You get the book, I know you'll enjoy it.